and uh, this time of course I had the chance to see it in real and um, by having a very well organized uh, visit here at Xiong'an, uh, having uh, different presentations and site visits and uh, I must say the most impressive was the site construction site we visited uh, the new station also for high speed and LRT subway is being built totally a 25 kilometers long construction site and very large in size um, I have seen many construction sites in China in the last 20 years but this is probably one of the biggest I have seen so far so this impressed me most in, for me as a Swiss citizen to see s such a construction site such a city which has been built in only seven years in Swiss terminology this is to be considered as a miracle because uh, it's almost unbelievable that uh, such a big plan gets realized in such a short time right so from this perspective I could call it a miracle The green concept implemented in this area was quite uh, astonishing also I must say in terms also of energy supply. We have learned about different en renewable energy sources. Xiong'an is already applying photovoltaic, then geothermal energy, then also hydro-based uh, energy. And of course uh, already quite uh, many buildings uh, following the green building standards. So I think Xiong'an can be considered to be an urban laboratory where new innovative projects can be applied and therefore I think uh, the cooperation between Switzerland and China could be a good chance for Xiong'an. I think this is an area where Switzerland has quite some know-how to share also with, uh, with the Chinese partners in terms of technology, in terms of conceptual approaches and in terms also of different um, aspects of materials, energy supply, uh, mobility, smart grids.